there's one of the three cameras aimed at our property and just so happens I got the first light pole in and ready to go. As we take a look we can see I got the laser all screwed in tight doing what it's supposed to do on that mounting plate and then I just duct taped it to my pole. I figured that's the easiest way to mount it right now. All I've got is an inch and a half pole that's pounded into the ground. Now we come on over here and we see the control panel. We see it's on and it's on full power. It's all that is is ratcheting the power up or down. Come down over and we see that it's just plugged into 110 AC. So now I come up and take a look. We can see that I'm aim, I'm aim pretty close to it, but who knows how close. I'll have to wait till it gets dark to really make sure I get my aim right. But we can tell just by looking that thing's working and ready to go. They install video cameras like this one. Just put in to watch you, keep an eye on you, monitor, listen to you and everything. Well, my choice for dealing with the visual aspect is to install laser lights aimed right at it. And I took this one, I aimed it right at it, and what did they do? They had to turn their light on last night because it was working. So it's a countermeasure that works, and it's all about countermeasures. And here we go, that light on the right wasn't even working last night, and it is tonight. So they're quite worried that what I'm doing is working. So much that they took it, instead of having it aimed over there, now it's aimed at us right here. So what I had to do to counter that was install laser light number two. Once again, 650 nanometers, continuous red glow with a dot in the middle, aimed right at it. So hopefully this is causing them as much of a headache and issue as it's causing me. And it's something for you to think about if you've got people who think they need to watch you.